Good morning. Hey, Yanir. That beautiful baby girl, Chandra, Miss Marie, Michelle, Calfina. Thank you guys for joining this morning. Good morning, me chosen. Which one is your grandmother, by the way? From the picture, I meant to ask you that, me chosen. Well, good morning. My name is Mona, one woman set to change the world with the letters A through Z. So I'm back to, hey, LaShonda. I'm back to, hey, Miss Yvette. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So I'm back to A and I'm back on my alphabet game. Last two weeks, I was promoting uh, small businesses, entrepreneurs, and I must say, I was so happy. Hey, Sandy Kane, I was so happy uh, when I, Melbourne, Australia, hey, I wanna be in Australia. Good morning, Yvette. Let me tell you, her husband can cook some wings. I almost ate the bone, I'm just telling you. Those, I, even my granddaughter said, I've never eaten a, a chicken down to the bone like this. I should have put hers on because they were white. There was just no meat. Buenos dias, Miss Gomez. Oh gosh. So, okay. Hot boy joined in. Not be a troll. Hey, Zaref. So, I'm so excited today. Um, yesterday, I spoke a message about. Uh, the three wise men, the Magi, and how they came with these gifts for um, Jesus presenting a king with gold, frankincense, and myrrh. For rest, what a great name. Um, remember to heart me up. I am at almost 154,000. You know I'm on my way to a million. Um, so I'm so excited about the story of Christmas. And the one thing that I want to say about this awesome, amazing story, these are all my A's. I'm on the letter A today. One woman set to change the world, one letter of the alphabet a day. So today is my A day. Today is my A game. Today is all right. I'm on my way to the gym. You know my saying, back up, front flat working my way towards a new me, new body, 2016. But anyway, back to the A. This amazing story about the Magi uh, bringing these gifts to present to the king. And I don't know, when I was little growing up, you know, you see the nativity scenes and you see these three wise men and you see a little chest and you know these little baskets ca carrying frankincense and myrrh my just mind in the last couple of years has been just amazed at how when you are presenting to a king back in the biblical days back in Jesus's time they didn't just come with one little treasure chest of gold and frankincense and myrrh they came with an entourage. So in my mind, I just imagine these amazingly fine, handsome, very regal men dressed in brocade cloth with gold thread and these beautiful velvet hats and tassels and all kinds of ropes hanging from them. And they are on these big stallions of um, horses and camels and there's an entourage of over a hundred people uh, soldiers that have to protect the gold and all the treasures that they're bringing in and I could just imagine the sound of worship I mean just think of gold clanking and not just the sound of worship but the smell the fragrance of them bringing all of this frankincense and myrrh and gold to to try to find the king and then on top of it all that a star is guiding them i mean the sky must be the most beautiful shades of black white and gray and blue and they are leading the way to find the king and so i just had this 
this revelation that during this holiday season, the Lord wants us to be the Magi. Hey, Laureen. Laureen, you know I love you, girl. We already talked this morning. But I believe that the Lord wants us to be the Magi. He wants us everywhere we go this holiday season to be the gold, to be the frankincense and be the myrrh. Now, what does that mean in the natural? It means that gold represents wealth. He wants us to bring a wealth of love because Jesus came to seek and save the lost. He came to be the love demonstrated on earth. And so everywhere we go or, pe or people that come to our house, the wealth of love should be evident in what we represent and wealth of knowledge. That's, that's a good one too. Jesus was presented with gold and we need to present the gold to others. And then the fragrance of frankincense. Frankincense was used in the temple as a worship and an offering unto God. And God is saying, listen, I want you to be so fragrant that the very essence of who you are, the very smell of who you are can change a situation. So when you bring the noise, you bring the smell, the sweet smelling aroma of who Jesus is. And then myrrh represents healing balm. The healing balm was used uh, when Jesus died and his body was wrapped and put in incense. Uh, myrrh was used to heal. And so God is saying, listen, as you go throughout this holiday season, be the Magi, bring the wealth of love, bring the fragrance of worship and be the healing balm that this world needs to see. So I encourage you in this holiday season to be amazing, to be awesome, to really read the story of the birth of our Lord and Savior and get a new meaning and see what God is saying for you to be in this holiday season. And forget about all the presents, but be present. Be present, put your phone away, only use it to take pictures. Be present in any arena that you're in. And then be the present. See, you can be unwrapped in your situation. Be unwrapped by your family. Jenna! Yes, be unwrapped by your family. Like, what sense does it make to give a gift if you have a bad attitude? So let your family unwrap you. Let your family feel the love. Let your family see the fragrance of worship. Let, you let your family feel the fragrance of love, the sweet aroma of who you are, the good, intricate parts of who you are, and then be the healing balm. If there's a discussion that's going on, don't be the person that has to be right. Sometimes just being quiet and just sitting back and just smiling and nodding, a soft answer turns away wrath. Be love. So I encourage you to be the most awesome, amazing person that you can be in this holiday season. Bring the gold, love. Bring the frankincense, worship. Bring myrrh, the healing balm. And have yourself a merry little Christmas. Oh, Chandra. Peace out. Love you guys.